So this video is talking about pathogen transmission and entry. So we're talking about transmission means some sort of pathogen going from a person who's infected to a person who, uh, or to another person. So transmission is passing from a person who's infected to another person. And it's the passing of a pathogen. So what do we mean by a pathogen? A pathogen is an infectious agent that causes disease. So it might be a bacteria or a virus or a fungus, but it's an infectious agent that causes disease. This video is about the transmission of pathogens from an infected person to others. So we've got different ways in which pathogens can be transmitted from one person to another. And we call these modes of transmission. So modes of transmission or ways in which that um, infectious agents can be transmitted. And the first one is called an aerosol. And it's droplets. So sneezing, coughing, produces very small little droplets and inside those contains the pathogen. And that can waft through the air and then be breathed in by another person. So through coughing and sneezing. Very, very small water droplets. The next one is through uh, blood and bodily fluids. So blood, saliva, semen, body fluids can contain pathogens that can then be passed from one person to another. Could be, say, through uh, an infected needle, like sharing of needles or something. It could be through intimate contact. It could be also through um, an animal that has passed the blood or bodily fluids on from one person to another, like a mosquito bite or uh, a dog bite. So the next one is from contaminated water. For example, cholera is a pathogen that causes severe diarrhea. Now, if that diarrhea then finds its way into water and it can contaminate that water with the bacteria such that if that water gets drunk by somebody else, well, the pathogen then moves from first person via the water to um, the other person and that other person gets infected. And the last one is called, is just through contact. Could be direct contact, like hand to hand contact. Like touching somebody who has um, you know, got an infectious pathogen on their hands. You know, they might have uh, wiped their nose and then touched you and then you've gone and rubbed your eye or, or your, your mouth or something. Um, or it could be indirect contact. Um, for example, they may, somebody who's infectious may have touched money and, and then you have then touched that money um, and, and maybe put your hands in your mouth when you were eating a sandwich, that sort of thing. Uh, and so that's another name for that sort of contact is called smear contact. And we're specifically talking about fecal, so it's the fecal oral route. So it's gone from, from feces via money or maybe somebody touching a doorknob and then somebody else has touched that and then put their hands in their mouth. And that, um, that's a, a fecal oral route is an indirect contact. So they're the different ways in which an infectious agent can travel from a person who's got the infection to another person. So the next thing we need to talk about is the ways in which the pathogen can actually get into the body. So the routes of entry. Now the first one is our skin and mucosal membranes. So first, I mean skin is probably fairly obvious. We need a break in the skin, maybe a cut, maybe a, a penetration like a uh, like a needle or a, you know anything, a stick or something that penetrates the skin, a breach in the skin. We've also got these things called mucosal membranes. So on the inside of our body, like inside of our nose, behind our eye, 
inside our mouth, all the way through our throat, all the way through the gastrointestinal tract, through to the anus, the, um, the urinary system, all of those internal surfaces are coated in something called a mucosal membrane. So a breach of the mucosal membrane, say for example an ulcer in your mouth or something, can also be a route of entry. The next one is through ingestion. So actually swallowing an infectious agent. And a classic one, like I mentioned cholera, with the contaminated water. But it could be contaminated food as well. Um, uh, and you know, or, or hands that are contaminated, it contaminate food and you have the fecal oral route that gets in the body through ingestion. And the other one is actually through breathing it in. So the droplets of the cold and the flu virus, etc., the aerosol then gets breathed in. So they're the ways in which uh, pathogens actually get into the body.